We are kicking things off in the kitchen with a green goddess dressing that will beat anything you can buy in a bottle. We welcome back cooking instructor Jessica Hansen. Welcome back. Hi, thanks so much for having me. As soon as I walked into the studio, I could smell all those delicious herbs. I'm excited to dive into this. This is the time for herbs and lettuces. When people talk about spring vegetables, Sweet. there's not much coming out of the garden. We've got some turnips, some radishes, but really herbs are the first thing that come out of the garden. And also it's something that's really easy to grow at home. So I always like to that's take true. advantage of that when they're yeah. abundant. You're like, what am I gonna do with this? Turn it into a dressing, or and this is gonna serve as a dressing and a dip. So Your do you wanna make it with kitchen me? window sill garden, yes. Yeah, and in fact, um, I was at the grocery store and noticed even the grocery stores have beautiful herbs that you can just plant and oh, make nice. your own little window. So this is, you know, a whopping $10 worth of starts that you could start today and put Super in a little pot easy. outside of your, your, even outside now. Everything's pretty much safe That's outside. True. Okay. Yeah, so we took those herbs. So we're talking some dill, some parsley. Mm. It could be any of them. Cilantro. The one thing I didn't put any in is chives. So I'm going to take some of the chives. These came straight oh, out nice. of the garden today. We have a lot of chives. They've been doing really, really well. Look at those. And we're just, this is, I don't want you to worry about how hard this is. Okay. There. That's, that's it. it. Okay. Uh, we're just throwing those herbs in. I put parsley, cilantro, and a little bit of basil in there. And then okay. I'm going to throw a couple of garlic cloves. Now, for you, your your hard job today okay. is to actually do the pureeing. And that, I like to do, I just like to use the pulse. So just keep okay. pulsing. Like and that'll just help them move around to get cut up a little bit more evenly. I'm like and just starting to dance just because. <laughs> <laughs> like it helps. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of like the rocking a baby. It's fine. It is. Once we have that broken up, there's very few things that you have to put in there. Do you We're, think this is enough? It looks lovely. Okay. Yeah, so then we take this off. Sometimes the hardest part is just figuring out how to make a food processor I'm exhausted. Work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to take some capers. Now, this this keeps it vegan. Um, oh, okay. We have the option, anchovies is a more traditional thing to put right. in there, but it's nice to also know some vegan options. So this has just that, uh, the capers, a little bit of lemon juice, and then I'm going to put tahini in it. Have you worked with tahini much? A little bit. I know. I know I like how it tastes. I know. <laughs> me too. It is sesame paste, and it's emulsified with oil, and this is a great protein option. It makes, gives a little That's bit more right. roundness to your diet, yeah. and it also gives a creamy, nutty flavor to it. And I'm just going to put about a half of a cup in there, and then go to town pureeing this one okay. once again. We are almost done. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil and you can just hit the... Just keep it just on? Hold it, hold okay. it on for now. And this, our goal is to get it all mix, mixed up together. Then we're going to emulsify it with a little bit of water oh, and okay. oil. So water, water and oil. Yeah, if you just used oil, it gets a little too rich for me in my okay. opinion. Do so I keep it on? Go ahead and keep, okay. keep going. We're going to go somewhere between a quarter and a half of a cup. Woo! Look at that. Right? And then add in some oil. Now, salt is the only thing that we would need to add after this. Okay. But frankly, it depends on how much capers, how generous you were with your capers. That's true. So go ahead and we can stop there okay. at this point. Now, if I was being really particular, which I probably Ooh, should have been, we so would good. just scrape down the sides a little bit just to get that all those herbs oh, there you mixed go. in. Get all the goodies. And we'll do it one more time. One more zhuzh. Yeah, one more zhuzh. Okay. And we will have a lovely green goddess dressing. Oh gosh, the smell is just getting even better. And what I like about this, I made a little before we got here, is that it's that. just really great as a dip, so we could just pour it into a little bowl with some garden crudite. See how thick it is there? Yeah. We could loosen it, make it a little bit thinner, okay. and um, have it be a salad dressing. I also like it with salmon, so I'm just going to put a little I nice cooked think piece of, of salmon. I can't think if I've had salmon with a green goddess dressing or dip, but that sounds incredible. So delicious. Yeah. So we'll do a little bit of that as a nice little sauce Look on at that. that. And then, as I mentioned, as a uh, as a salad dressing, maybe we'd go a little bit looser, a little bit more water, but okay. just the same. It gives you the option of having, you know, these nice greens. There's still kale coming out of the garden, oh, so nice. it makes those kind of tougher greens just a little less tough because yeah. it coats all of the leaves because it's thicker. That's true. So we'll would you add in. water versus oil to loosen mm -hmm. it up? I cho I choose water because okay. you could just keep adding oil, and it just actually gets a little bit thicker, and we just don't need that much that much oil That's in our diet. True. Yep. That's so then true. you're just balancing how acidic you'd like it. Okay. These are some really pretty um, flowers out of the garden. Yeah, These tell me about those flowers. The flowers, they're just when you allow the turnips, the turnips come out of the ground, those are the oh, white turnips okay. out there. When they are ready to go, they start to flower at the top, and so we just eat them because you we just, can. Why not? So kale flowers, all sorts of different flowers what are available. What does it taste like? Well, let's, <laughs> don't you think you should find out? Go ahead, just, you can literally put Here. the, Oh just, yeah, I want to try this one. Go for it. 
just tastes like something green and springy, really right? Really green, right. really bright I mean, and fresh. So the mm. more things, the more color you can eat in your diet, the What's more... What's wrong with that? Right, the more okay. nutrition. So if one of the flowers of one of the plants in your garden... dive in over here. Yeah, let's move this closer to I you. Get this Make you a little bit more salmon's successful. Salmon's my fave. Oops, I dropped Lettuce down. No one saw that. Nobody saw it at all. Okay. So we've got that salmon with the green goddess. Mm -hmm. We have it as a dip for crudite. You can also mm. fold in some yogurt, some mayonnaise, and make that a little bit creamier oh if you'd goodness. like. But frankly, I like it just like this. But it's such a versatile dressing, and this will keep for a week in your refrigerator very easily. A week? Yeah, easily. Nice. Um, it'll just start to turn a little bit brown where it okay. meets the oxygen. But other than that, I just think it's a really versatile addition, especially when you have a plethora of herbs yeah. in the garden. Why not use the gorgeous things that we have? Thank you so much. That was delicious. Yay. I'm glad that I got to um, enhance your diet a little I bit know. through this one um, So many sauce. options. I love yeah. that, too. Hey, we'll have more information on our website at katu.com, and we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this. Mm -hmm.